One thing you'll see all over the place at the moment is an interior style called colour blocking. Now it's everywhere on Pinterest and Instagram right now and it's a great way to add interest to a room without going too crazy but also without committing too much of the room to it. Now today I'm going to hold your hand through a simple way of colour blocking your wall but I'm going to do it on a smaller scale on this canvas. But first of all I need to go and choose my colours so I'm off to Bruce. First you need to choose your colours. If you pop to your local brewers, you can have a look at brush out boards and bring some sample pots back to try out. Next, sketch with a pencil the shapes you wish to have on the walls. Geometric or curvy are particularly on trend, but this is the time to experiment with ideas. You can now try out your sample colours to make sure you're happy before you splash it on the walls. Once you're sure you're happy with your prototype, you can get drawing on those walls. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp to start. For straight lines, it's worth using decorator's tape. Colour blocking is a great way to experiment with bolder colours. If you look on a colour wheel, the colours opposite each other will always pop in a wow way. If you want to play it safer, go for colours next to each other on the colour wheel. Colour blocking is also a clever way to create different zones in a room. You could experiment by making features of the doorways or a virtual headboard in the bedroom. Talking of bedrooms, it's a brilliant way of making a kid's room more fun or a teenager's room more grown up. Try playing with stairways, chimney breasts or any other feature already in the room. Colour blocking also creates a great backdrop for a gallery wall. Plants on shelves can really soften the effect. So as you can see, colour blocking can completely transform a blank canvas with very little effort or paint. Now, let's imagine this as a real wall. 